May I remind you that trading is risky and not suitable for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focused on the long term, and never risk money you cannot afford to lose. Welcome to Quantbox Daily. Today is Wednesday, December 14th. Hello, my babies. What is Quantbox, you say? Quantbox is your global macroeconomic quant in a box. It's an amazing tool that collates all fundamental data from news events through to inflation, interest rates, specific important fundamental data. It collates it into a beautiful dashboard, scores everything, and provides you with the fundamental bias. It also includes commitment of traders, retail sentiment, and seasonality, which are three things that are very difficult to get for all currency pairs. If you'd like to try it out, and I'll show you how it works in this session, a weekly trial is only $7.90. Try it out, see if it works for you. It's added immense trading, to, it's added immense value to my trading. I really, I use it every single day. And the tools I like, obviously the economic news, the market heat map is quite nice because you can then see what currency pairs are currently moving. Blue blocks represent the most bullish um, asset classes and red blocks represent the most bearish asset classes. And this updates on a regular basis. So what you could do is you could be paying attention to this as you go into a market open and see which currencies are moving the most, and then look to see if there's either opportunities to trade against that direction. Say, for example, prices come up to a profit-taking zone, there might be opportunities to set up a counter-trend trade, or you could look to add positions to those trades. Very nifty little tool. Also, economic news is quite nice. You can see what's currently in store for us today. So looking at today's news, we can see here that today quite a large amount of data some important stuff today some, sorry some important stuff today is the interest rate decision coming out of the FOMC that's super important we got some european data in terms of inflation and we got some inflation coming of the the united kingdom okay so keep an eye on that very important data so far as interest rates are concerned for the united kingdom some data for um, for spain and most importantly an FOMC meeting today. All right. So we've got interest rate prediction, third year, second year, first year, current, beautiful stuff, Fed press conference, very important stuff going on today. All right. So pay attention to that. We'll take a look at the dollar pairs in a moment. But first, let's take a look at any low hanging fruit. So here's a score chart summary. It shows you all of the scores for every asset class that Quantbox covers. And there's quite a variety. Taking a look up here, we've got our strong buys and our buys. You can see the score being six and five. Let's take a look at those. So Kiwi CAD coming through the strong buy. We set the CAD pairs up yesterday. Specifically, we were looking at the Euro CAD and um, the Kiwi CAD, right? Price was down here at 21 EMA. If you got that trade, fantastic. If you didn't get that trade because you weren't happy with the setup on H1, that's also fine. Something to pay attention to on these CAD pairs is we are getting closer and closer to the monthly target on a number of these. Still bullish though, we haven't broken support and support has not become resistance, okay? And that's the same thing, you look across the board on all of these pairs and you'll notice that things might have slowed down slightly. For example, on EuroCAD price coming off 21, didn't move very, very high, okay? Still bullish though, but perhaps things are slowing down as we get closer to targets, of course, it could also be that yesterday the market was waiting for inflation data and today the market's waiting to see what the Fed does. Okay. So let's go back to our list and see what's on our list. So KiwiCAD coming through is a very strong buy. Let's jump into KiwiCAD quickly. All right. So as you can see here on our daily time frame, currently at a monthly profit taking zone. So at this point in time, I now switch. If I was buying down here, I'm looking for reasons to take profit. What are those reasons? Has price broken support? Has support become resistance? Okay. So that was yesterday's buy that we spoke about. If you got that trade yesterday, good job. If you didn't because you didn't like the setup on H1, that's also fine. So now what you're doing is you're saying, okay, am I still in a position where I'd like to buy? Well, we've got the monthly take profit taking zone. You've got a confluence of the monthly R2 and the weekly M4. Okay. And you've got price having made a higher high, you can see there. And as this red candle broke the support, support became resistance. 
So you're paying attention to price and its bias. And uh, if you're looking for buys on this to take it further up, scalps and stuff, you certainly could do that. What you'd be doing is paying attention to the H1 time frame, or the M15 time frame, and looking for higher highs, higher lows. Okay. If, however, you're waiting for profit taking, then you're looking for price to actually complete a full reversal. All right. So we're looking for price to make lower lows. Um, well, basically, come up to 55, come back up, double top, come down, lower low, come back up, lower high. That could take it some time to set up. Okay. But it is something that we are paying attention to as we get into the profit taking zone and start getting into the latter part of December. All right. In terms of a buy, I'm not going to be buying this. I suppose for a scalp, again, I could take it a little bit higher, but I would need support. And so I'm going to need some indication of price closing at support. Looking at the H1 time frame, you can see here you have got price sitting at the support over here. Okay. So this could be an opportunity to take this higher. However, what you'd like to see is you can see these candles are very neutral. So an M15 chart, you're looking for the higher, higher, higher low. Okay. Just like you got over there yesterday. Higher, high, higher low that led to that move up. Okay. Cool. So that's Kiwi CAD. In terms of Kiwi Swissy, let's have a look at that and see if we agree with that buy. Here we are. So daily time frame. I'm not seeing the daily candle close at support from an H4 perspective. Price has come up. Now it's coming down. It's sitting at the support over here. Price has broken through this support. This is looking rather neutral from a technical perspective. Looking at H1, I'm not a massive fan. Let's see if I can find love somewhere else. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. I believe we have that on our default profile. And uh, as far as a buy is concerned, I'm not feeling a trend. I'm not. I'm looking at this and saying, mm, I don't like that volatility. I'll leave that alone. Kiwi yen. Price has broken the 21 EMA. We've now come down. We've broken this support left-hand side. If you were looking for buying opportunities off of this support over here, then again, you're looking for the higher, higher, higher low on the M15. Okay. You could set that up like that. You are currently at DS1. DS1's target is DR1. I'll be coming back up for a double top. Okay. Maybe. That's all you've got to go with so far as pivot points are concerned. From a daily perspective, your monthly pivot points are very much out of position. Okay. And H4, also out of position. And you haven't got a 21 EMA to push you higher. So be careful with this one. Then USD CAD also coming through as, as a buy. Let's take a look. Okay, we've broken this support over here. Sitting at that 21 EMA. Hmm, okay. My concern is we've come up and closed at this resistance over here. But we've come off the support down here. Feels like we're stuck between two places. So what you'd then do if you wanted to trade this is if you're looking to buy this, you're looking for the higher, higher, higher low. Price came down, made a double bottom. If you got some kind of role reversal on the M15 time frame, you can see there currently price coming off the support over here. Just in terms of how the H1 chart is set up, I would like to see if this is if this is a higher low, if the market is treating this as a higher low, let it make a higher high, pull back down, make a higher low, just because of the fact that price is at that resistance over there. Price, of course, could come back down, find support down here, and then shoot up. That's absolutely possible. I would prefer that move, but then I'd still like to see some kind of role reversal somewhere on the, H, on the M15 time frame. So if price came down to support and then price pushed up and pushed back down, that would be quite nice. It depends on how things um, change and um, sets up going into later sessions. But right now, on the H1 time frame, this tells me that price could come back down. Sort of form a right-hand side, excuse me, form a right-hand side and then go up. 
but I'm very much aware of the fact that we're at both resistance and support on the four hour time frame. Okay, so be careful of that. Those are our buys. The only one, nothing really <clears throat> standing out for me. Just the fact that KiwiCAD is still bullish and we haven't reached target really. Uh, you could probably scalp that. Okay. But beyond that, the rest and USD CAD, some potential setups there. So USD CAD and KiwiCAD, some potential opportunities there, but they do require further setup. The rest I'm going to leave. In terms of cells, Euro Kiwi. So not feeling this from a selling perspective. I'm not seeing lower lows and lower highs. Price came down, WM2 respected twice. So not going to sell that. Then Aussie Kiwi. Okay, so you can see here, it's telling us to sell this. Maybe it's a case of price pulling back to resistance, but price is coming off the profit-taking zone. Okay, so if you are looking for a counter trend trade on this, then you are looking for price to close at a roll reversal. Okay. You've got a couple over here that you could use. But at this moment in time, price potentially coming up from that support. Now, of course, that could change as we go into the FOMC meeting, but you do need some kind of resistance. As the, At the moment, this is still ranging. So if price closed top of the range, you could sell that. Be aware of the fact that the price is coming off weekly M2, price is coming off of a monthly S2. I'm not such I'm not a fan of selling it down here. No, thank you. So I'll leave that one alone. And then pound kiwi also coming through as a strong sell or sell, sorry. I'm looking at this chart here and I'm saying, I don't think so. I'm not liking the volatility on that pair. Okay. So really and truly what I've got is out of everything I've looked at, um, I'm really only keen on looking for setups on KiwiCAD and USDCAD. But ultimately, with today being an FOMC day, I'm also okay just sitting back and waiting for the Fed to meet. I want to see what they say about interest rates. If you take a look at um, Euro USD, you can see here we're coming in at a 7.1 inflation. Still way higher than the 2% target. But what we're looking for now is we're looking to see does the Fed decrease their interest rate? Not cut interest rates, but decrease the amount of basis points they're going to increase by going forward. Right, So do we go from 75 basis points to 50 basis points? And does the market then see that as the beginning of the end? And does that then lead to risk on? Okay, If, of course, the Fed are still adamant that despite inflation decreasing, they think that there's still a need for a lot more aggression, then, of course, risk off. I'm okay waiting for that data. I'm okay waiting for that result. And then decide from there what I want to do. So far as dollar pairs are concerned, if we had a quick, quick gander at dollar pairs, Aussie USD. Okay, price is rather high right now. And um, you can see if you're trading out of position, you aren't at a 4 hour 21. Okay, you got some support left hand side, but to verify that, be very careful. I don't see this making a higher high. I think it's going to come up in a flake. Um, so be careful of that. I would rather leave this alone and wait for the, like, just like yesterday, yesterday could have been a good trade with the, um, inflation data. I preferred to take it on the CAD pairs and it made just as much sense because we got risk on as a result of that inflate that, that, um, inflation data. So consolidation, not a massive fan on fan of in terms of Euro dollar currently at a profit taking zone. Okay. That might be an indication of what's to come. Perhaps you're setting up something over there in terms of a lower, low, lower high. If not on the H1 time frame, perhaps an M15 time frame. Okay. Pound dollar. You can see it already come off of a profit taking zone yesterday. And Kiwi USD, also same thing. So if you find that all of your pairs are setting up for sells, perhaps dollar strength is in order. And that'll also, if you see if you see dollar strength setting up across the board, think of what that means in terms of risk. It's like, oh, okay, dollar strength, risk off, potentially. Um, and so that'll also hamper your, any consideration on buying any CAD pairs because CAD weakening risk on. Sorry, yes. Um, so... That's not, the, that's not correct. If we look at the KiwiCAD yesterday, right? KiwiCAD going up. 
what we're looking for in the situation if we say okay um dollar strength then usd cad up as well so risk risk off on the on the cad pairs up risk risk on down because risk on cad strong i would leave the cad out of the equation i'd leave the cad out of the equation um and if you see opportunities to buy the CAD pairs, you can, but so close to profit taking zones, I'd say no. I prefer to wait for the FOMC today and just see what happens, see what the results are, see what the outcome is. Okay. See what they say about the future interest rates. And if you suddenly see a risk, see dollar strength coming into play, then know that that's risk off. How you match risk off on a Kiwi CAD situation is very difficult because they're both commodity currencies. Okay. Sorry for the confusion just now. I apologize. Um, my brain thinking before my mouth speaking. Ultimately, Fed continue increasing at a very aggressive rate. Risk off, dollar strength, yen strength, Swiss franc strength, commodities weak. If the Fed decides to stop, go from 75 to 50, potentially risk on, dollar weak, yen weak, commodity currencies strong. That's basically the play, okay? My dyslexia sometimes gets in the way of my thinking that's the situation team good luck today remember just be patient there's no rush if you see opportunities maybe some scalps just recognize where you are as you get closer to the decision today stay patient stay disciplined stay liquid stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow all the best